Well, it's dark outside, but uh, it's cosy in here, so welcome. Uh, I'm iPete2, and this is Everybody Play the Game. And we are playing SnowRunner once more. And uh, you may have, uh, you may be interested. We did a, we did a stream last night, where we managed to get the Khan Thirty Nine. That's this little chap here. Uh, just give him a start up and get some uh, some lights on. Uh, this guy, uh, and we were driving around on these huge forty-seven inch wheels, and we found that. Um, while we we're going across a stream, actually it wasn't a stream, it was through a particularly deep, muddy, wet, watery bit. Um, the car floated off uh, to one side when I wasn't actually driving it. So that led me to believe the tyres might be floaty uh, flotation devices. So we went and had a little drive around. And it was a bit inconclusive. We we tried the ocean, and you can check out the stream from yesterday. <laughs> what happened there? It was a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, um, what I thought we'd do tonight is uh, we will go and find the um, the lake, and we'll try we'll try and drive uh, across the lake now to get some fuel. But in the meantime. Um, actually, I'm just looking at this. I've driven these rocks before and fell off about here somewhere. So I suspect that they might might be a bit more amenable. So we're going to come. Um, I don't know, we'll, go, we'll go past the fuel stop. So we're going to need to find where the fuel stops are. Oh, and that's too far away. That one looks good. We'll have that one. That's first. Uh, so through round here, they're a part of the world. Let's go for a bit of a ride and see how we do. We were also talking last night about how the uh, the road seems much slippier at night. I'm not sure that's actually true, but it does uh, a little bit more out of control when you can't see where you're going too well. Now, I think at the broken bridge, and we also said last night we will go and fix that, so we don't have to keep going off the uh, off the bank at the side here. Oops, tried to sneak between there and uh, just misjudged it a little bit. Come on. What is that there? Something is just not right there. We'll go around the other side. Oops. Yeah, we don't want to hit those. We'll get all sorts of... Uh, Hits in the suspension and fuel tank and absolute nightmare. Just pull in there for a second. Yeah, so uh, this corner here, and um, we're going to turn left. All stations are down this road. And then actually, we're not going to be too far away from the lake. Righty ho! A little bit of a left turn here. It's a bit, it's a bit messy around here. Yeah, get out of the way, signpost. So we'll just take it 
a little bit to the left. As long as we don't tip over, we'll be okay. Come on. Come on. Little bit, little bit more. That's it there. That'll do. Keep away from the trees. This, this is unforgiving, this road, where uh, trucks are concerned. But the calm seems to take it in its stride. I do like this little vehicle. Right, into the fuel station. Get some... Uh, live much better now. Look where we can go. So I'm wondering whether we should uh, risk it or whether... Now, you see, last night we came down here and we went up the river this way and we got to about here and uh, we were physically stopped. But this... This bit here, I'm wondering what it's actually, usually. We get down to the water's edge there. Okay, we're going to go back this way. Back the way we've just come. A bit further on. And then we're going to go off, uh, off the beaten track here somewhere. We'll probably uh, figure that out when we get there. Oh, actually, I wonder if we need to be on the other side of that. That might be better, actually. In which case, forget that. What we'll do, I think, come back up here. Got a fist road, Gridgy. Let's let's just go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. Because what normally happens when I drive a truck down this road is uh, you end up like this, going at half a mile an hour. And I don't have enough fuel for that, really. I do, but I don't want to waste the fuel. So we'll, um, we'll try very hard to make our way down here without getting stuck. Now, remember, the uh, plan tonight is to find out whether this car Oops. Very simple, very straightforward. Does it float on the lake? So we're going to have to find the quickest way to get to the lake, which is what we're doing right now. And if I can get back to the main road around the edge, we can find the pipeline that goes out to the uh, goes out to the uh, the rig here. So, right, where are we? We're here. I think we're just going to uh, and we'll give. You be a bit slow going. Although it's too slow at the minute. Feel a bit bouncy. Okay, we've come across something here. We'll have a quick look here. 
What's this? What's this one? Bags are nice. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that just yet. We are looking for access to the lake. So end of this road, just 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 on the court in front of us. Maybe a, a simple, easy way in. Quick look. Right, well, that's down there. So we're going to go trying to turn off left now. I'm going to try and go through the trees. This often gets you caught on tree trunks and such things. Like that won't allow me through there. Try to the right of it. Seem to be uh, lifted off the ground a bit here. Hold on. So we'll just move to the right a bit. No, it doesn't want to let me through. Right, okay. Question is, are we now stuck? Bit of reversing. Bit of Reginald Mole husband. And we're through. Not quite sure. I think we should be able to get through there. Yeah. Oh, this, this looks positive. Oak. There's the lake. Right. Okay. Then let's see what it does. Shall we just uh, see if we can move off to the right? Are we floating? I'm not sure. Maybe we're going to have to just do a bit of a winch. See we can float down. See we can float down the lake this way. I'm disappointed if it doesn't let you float. I'll tell you what, we're gonna just move on a bit. Um, it's difficult to see. Come on, let me float. It really does, it really does beg the question, doesn't it? it? 
beggars belief. Come on. Will you not let me drive? Closer to the edge. Just not going to let me do that, is it? Come on, we're nearly floating, surely. Oh, I find a winch point. Come on. That one, yeah. It's just not going to play the game, this. Oh, I don't know. That, that looks like... It might do if we just give it more welly. Come on. Now, how are we doing? Just not going to do it, and I don't know why. We were we were driving in a puddle last night, and it, the the vehicle started to float off. And I think there must be something about these. Maybe it's some kind of physics uh, collision detection thing. It just will not will not allow me to float. That's a shame. So we're going to go for a drive anyway, so we can drive round the edge of this lake. All I'm looking for, really, is the vehicle to float on its own without me driving. It should move on its own. Come on, little car. Thank you. 
I'm not asking for much. I just want the vehicle to float a little bit. Okay, well, what we'll do, we'll go around the other side, where we know there are some rocks that you can drive. So we'll see if we can get on that side of the, the pipeline. New trailer! Hey, fuel carrier! There we go, look at that. Right, now then. Will it float? It's saying dangerous water, but you know, we've had it in deeper. I think I need. Ooh, I don't know if I've got... Ooh. I don't think there's a winching point. That's a bit disastrous. Don't let me be still in the sink. I wish there was an undo in this game. Oh, no. I'm very disappointed that that has got stuck there. I can't tell whether that's moving or not. Maybe, maybe slowly.
cannot get this to no e what on earth right can do is go back here and pull out the Hummer. Um, let's have a clear colour. I'm not sure that this is a good idea, but we'll uh, we'll give it a whiz. I think the Hummer might get stuck. It's a little bit tricky because the wheels are not not that good. Sorry about the signpost there. These tyres are very poor for this kind of work. Hence, almost immediately having to get the winch out. Take the all-wheel drive on. Let's have a look. It's already going dark. Flipping egg. Now we really want to be on the pipeline because that's where the car the car is. It's on the far side. So I'm going to turn left and go. Yeah, we're going to go down this road. And I reckon it'll take us a fair bit of time. Just because this road is so mulchy. Well travelled now by. Uh, oh, here we go. Ooh, that's not bad. Well done. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, we could have brought the car on here. I think that's what we'll try and do. We might bring it over to this lake. Let it float around in there for a bit and see if it'll float. We've tried that, it, um, it sinks. Drop her into low gear, get drive on. See how quickly we can get up this hill. Not doing too bad actually. Considering, considering where we are and what this vehicle has on, we 
It's a normal road tyres. It's actually not doing too bad. Keep going. Come on. Now I think we're over that hill. So where are we going? We're going this way. So hmm. We're actually going off in the wrong direction here. Oh um, nope. Going back that way. Yep, we've gone too far. So we'll have to reverse. How on earth did we miss that turning? I don't know, but we did. And it was quite a while ago as well, it was before this lake. Right, let's find out where we're going. Uh, off to the right. It will just... Uh Use the winch to get us around that corner. You, that was lucky. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Come on. Oh no, oh, I can't see a thing out of that window. We want to um, just adjust where that's towing me from because that was a bit sideways. OK. 
Okay, that's good. And the headlights on. I think we must be getting near to the water now. So we're going to go up there. Probably to one side. there Sorry. okay just a little bit further on and then we'll be lined up on the other side, on the opposite side of the pipeline where we started originally, so that's good and then what Brian do and this is where the disaster happened last time we have to be really careful No, 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 no. The engine is broken. believe that oh, it's just outside the range Well, disaster strikes again. <laughs> the end. E
slipped out. I must have just slipped off. Yeah. I've had a cut. Or might have made that. Well, it looks like a good bit for tonight. We'll see where we to uh, to be able to move off it. There isn't anywhere to. It's just really sad. You'd have expected one of those buildings to be able to accept won't accept a winch point uh, it just won't ah well thank you everybody play the game and uh, so when we meet we have difficulty in water I really fancy taking this little chap into that over there so that might be the next anyway have a good day and we'll see you next time I've